everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So this video is about introduction to vitamins. For individual vitamin videos, I have given my video lists in the description below. I have given a link for the playlist of all the vitamins in the description below. And also the link for that is appearing right now in the upper right corner. Now let's talk about in brief about to vitamins like what all these vitamin molecules. So the vitamins are organic molecules. These are small organic molecules which are generally not synthesized in our body and they are so essential for us because uh, without these vitamins we cannot survive. So they are absolutely essential for our survival for our optimal health we need vitamins. So how do we get these vitamins? So most of the vitamins are not synthesized in our body. That means we need, we are dependent on our food. We are dependent on the plants for these vitamins. And also we are dependent on the bacteria, the bacterial flora present in the animals, present in the, uh, in our uh, intestine. So how we can classify all these vitamins? So the vitamins, uh, one of the most common classification of vitamins is uh, we can classify all the vitamins into water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins. Now water soluble vitamin includes uh, B complex vitamin and vitamin C. Now what are the vitamins present in uh, B complex vitamin? So the B complex vitamin it includes vitamin B1 that is thiamine, then we have vitamin B2 which is riboflavin. We have vitamin B3 that is niacin, we have vitamin B5 that is a pantothenate, we have vitamin B7 that is a biotin, we have vitamin B9 that is folate and we have vitamin B12 that is cobalamin. So along with all these B complex vitamin, we have vitamin C which is an ascorbate. All these are water soluble vitamins. So even when we take these water soluble vitamins, usually coming from uh, green leafy vegetables, fruits and all that, so they will be absorbed from our intestine by a specific transporters. They will be transported in the portal system, taken to the liver. Some of the vitamins are significantly stored in the liver. And from the liver, it will, they will be distributed to other tissues, which are the tissue which needs those vitamins. Coming with the fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins, we have four of them. And those are vitamin A, which is a retinol alcohol form, retinol dehyde, that is aldehyde from retinol and retinoic acid acid form of vitamin A. Then we have vitamin uh, D. Vitamin D is it is 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol that's an active form of vitamin D. Then we have vitamin E that is tocopherol and then we have vitamin K if it is coming from plant source we call it as phyloquinone. If it is coming from animal source we call it as manoquinone. So these are fat soluble vitamins. Now the fat soluble vitamins once we take them in the diet so the digestion and absorption of fat soluble vitamins they go in hand in hand in with uh, with the lipid soluble uh, means uh, lipids dietary lipids. That means we need uh, bile acids and bile salts properly contracting intestine and also uh, we need uh, digestive enzymes especially lipid digestive enzymes coming from pancreas. With the help of all these so the lipid soluble vitamins will be absorbed along with the dietary lipids get into the enterocyte. In the enterocytes they will be loaded on to EPO, APO B48 protein to make chylomicrons. Chylomicrons enters into lymphatics. From lymphatics they will end up uh, into systemic circulation. From the systemic circulation ultimately they will be taken up by the liver and most of these fat soluble vitamins are stored in the liver. From liver, it will be they will be distributed to other organs depending on the needs of the peripheral tissue. Now coming with what kind of uh, which all the vitamins that are synthesized to certain extent in our body. Among water soluble vitamins, so the niacin is synthesized uh, to certain quantities in our body. Like 60 milligram of tryptophan, amino acid tryptophan can be converted into 1 milligram of niacin. So the biotin is synthesized in significant quantities from the bacterial flora that we have in our intestine. So these are uh, two vitamins of uh, water soluble vitamins that are synthesized uh, in our body that is ni uh, niacin and uh, biotin. So coming with the fat soluble vitamins. Fat soluble vitamins so we have uh, vitamin K that can be synthesized in our intestine by the bacterial flora again 
and also vitamin D on exposure to sunlight, especially the UV light in the sunlight uh, can uh, synthesize some amount of vitamin D uh, coming from 7-dehydrocholesterol in the skin, cell membrane of the skin. Uh, it can be converted into cholecalciferol and eventually that can be converted into active form of vitamin D. So this is all about in brief uh, introduction to vitamin and as I said before so for specific vitamin videos you can uh, click uh, playlist link down there so you get uh, all the vitamins in one place and you can uh, watch a video which are the video, uh, vitamin video that you are uh, looking for. So that's all uh, for now and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in my next video.